Hey boys and girls, how you doing? This is uh, Billy Chapman. I had a uh, request from a friend of mine that I met uh, in Orlando at House of Blues, uh, Fred Monahan from Stone Gardens Farm up in Georgia. He was visiting and uh, wanted to know uh, how I played uh, going to California. I have uh, a version of me doing that on, uh, on YouTube, so you guys uh, feel free to check that out as well on, uh, uh, on our uh, YouTube site, uh, BCB11000. Anyway, uh, to start with, um, you tune your guitar to drop D. So you just take the top string and tune it the same as the D string. using uh, this regular D, we are going to use this as well as the D minor, You'll, that'll come later, but uh, I always begin playing it like this, and this is going to be the first thing you do is to learn how to play, just to sit, you can sit and watch TV or whatever and practice this for a while until your thumb can do this without thinking because it's hard to play the rest of it and keep the thumb going if your thumb has to think the whole time. Anyway, now what we're going to do next is we're going to add this part. Okay. Now I use my third and fourth fingers to do this. This is part of the D chord. It's like if you take an F, G, A, B, C, D. See what I mean? If you take just the middle two fingers right here and use it with your third and fourth finger so you're going to have your pinky on the uh, 11th fret of the G string and your uh, third finger is going to be on the 10th finger uh, 10th fret of the uh, B string and anyway so you see uh, this is our D we're going to use so now in between these beats simple parts and at the same time, see? changing here is on the G string so basically because of the stretch you have to roll your your wrist around and reach up sound going along with the uh, going along with the drone D's there um, okay so then that's the uh, that's the basic uh, uh, that's the basic run of most of the song right there now since we're in drop D you have to play a G this way normally you play it you know here but this string is tuned down so we have to bring it up to here here's now a G so I I, use, I put my pinky on the D note there on the fifth fret of the A string and hold those two down on the third fret of the E and, e and B strings. So then, Anyways, 
so we have, so we're have, we're on the G. We're going to hold this down while we do. The song goes from D to G, then it does that for a while. Then when it goes to the uh, goes to the refrain, watch out. Now that's D minor. And we're gonna keep this going. And what we're gonna play here on the bottom strings with your fingers are. So all you're playing is. You can play it while you're holding the, the D chord. Because it switches from D minor to D major. Back to the, back to the G, which is the beginning of the, uh, the verse singing, right there. So um, to recap, we have this D minor, and I want to show you the what I'm doing here, and this remains the whole time. So you, so without the thumb. Um, then we go into uh, the the other part is the um, the chorus. You know we have this. the wrath of a god got a punch on the nose. That's D minor. See that the wrath of a god got a punch on the nose and the start of the flow. I think it might be sinking. That's A major. At the end is is at the uh, at the end of the chorus, so it's just. Yeah. And uh, of course, the hardest part really is keeping this going the whole time while you're doing these other things. The key, I think, is to list, learn this and learn these other parts. You know? separately and you put them together and it just you have to work on this and then try to I've been doing it 20 I've been doing it like 20 years I still mess it up so um, you want to just take your time and uh, keep at it uh, I appreciate the uh, request Fred uh, uh, of the lesson uh, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope to hear from you. Please, uh, if you enjoyed it, comment. If you hated it, comment. Love to hear from you. I'll talk to you guys later sometime.